It's DJ Holiday and Ebony, a.k.a. the Averys. Stay tuned. Dinner with the Averys, episode 22, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all feeling out here? Yes, man. Welcome to our world. We are in the building. Of course, man, one and only DJ Holiday. Uh, yes, and with me, as always, is uh, uh, my rib side plate, whatever <laughs> y'all call her. Hey, everybody. Risky. What a risk. What's up, Holiday? Hey, man, you popping on YouTube, boy. <laughs> somebody. Really? Somebody, Why are you going <laughs> to? Somebody hit me today. Oh, hold on. We got a guest, too. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, don't forget. Up, yeah, this nigga really ain't popping like that. But, uh, <laughs> we just had Turn him on. Nah, we found him on the side of the road. No, nah, this is a good friend of in. mine, business friend of mine. Uh, yep, you know him. If you know me, you know him, of course. Uh, uh, we, we went to college together. College together. Talking about we went to college. We went together. to college together. We and we went just to, been stuck together ever since, man. Yeah, I mean. the pause, but not stuck together. But, well, you know, yeah. you know what I mean, man. Yeah, he, come on, you gotta watch your words on him. Now. I got to. There's too many people listening. <laughs> yeah, so no, but definitely a uh, good friend of my man knows me inside and out. Pause again. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> he's been a part of the process of everything I got going on in life up until now. So yes, man, he's a good friend of mine. Dang. You know him as J Rock, uh, and that's all they need. And to that's know, all man. they need to know. Okay, welcome, man. Welcome, my dog. Welcome, man. And he's it's gonna be a good show because you're single. Are you single? Yeah, I am. Uh, Ebony, you are? I am. I am. Okay, cool. <laughs> are you looking for somebody? Um, I'm not looking, but I mean, if when it comes, it comes. Listen, he has a very broad <coughs> opinion on the the single life, the dating life. He's been through a lot, and uh, I think his his opinion is going to be very valuable on this show because it's a lot of the topics we talk about, mm-hmm. cool. and we reference him in a couple of different little things too as well. So. Yeah, EJ mostly hating, but we gonna we gonna straighten she that out tonight hate. too. She doesn't hate. She just wants the best for you. Dog. Hating, man. Let's be support my wife. Okay. I'll anyway, you out. but right. no YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. Uh, it's funny, man. Some uh, uh, somebody hit me and asked me, could Ebony uh, do her daughter a birthday shout out for her birthday? Because wow. apparently she's uh, popping out. surfaced uh, all the stuff that she did on Charm School because you can watch it's like a YouTube channel or whatever like that, and she watched the whole season and. You know, it's new to some people. And mm-hmm. It's crazy the fact that that shit travels like that. And yeah. you know, when I told everybody, she was like, "Nah, you tripping?" And I was like, nah, "No, for I wasn't. I was not well, yeah, shocked." She at wasn't all. saying you weren't shocked, but <laughs> yes, she Don't was. Don't try to play me like that. I like because people write me all the time oh telling God. me how they watch. They watching it now. They send me clips and things like that. I haven't even watched it since I did the show, so I don't even even remember some of the stuff that happened. So when they send me those clips, I'm yeah, you like, "Cuss a lot of people out." <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was then. This is now. This is now. And you know, sometimes <laughs> I had to go back and look at some old videos. Yeah, I've been mean into it too, y'all. And nigga, she be cussing me out like I'm one of the girls I just on the show how, sometimes. How she was I was like, my nigga, hold on, well, you said you see, that before. Did you see the post that I posted one like a couple of days ago? Sometimes my humbleness makes people forget how much of a savage I really used to be. Yeah, and you so fought your way to the top for love. This sometimes is not the I have to remind them yeah, of who simple. I really am. Like people think they can try me because I'm just this. Who think they can try you? Just certain people. So sometimes you just have to remind. Sometimes remind people that I'm not the one to try. Yeah, you know, you cussed me out a couple of times. Like I was on the show. I was like, <laughs> I'm <"Mom>, just <laughs> talking to. <laughs> you just have to politely remind them. Yeah, we you need know? some security to break us up that day. <laughs> EJ ain't got hard, my nigga. Like, no, she, I'm not. I'm, very, I'm scared. I'm, honestly, I'm scared. She like, really want to beat our kids up, but she can't do that, so she just take it out on us. <laughs> Call D facts on it. It was a joke, EJ, because the kids <laughs> get on your nerves. Oh my God. I can't do it with you. Anyway, <laughs> J-Rock, thank you for coming, brother. Really appreciate it. Now, we have, like I said, a lot of voiced opinions and things like that uh, mm-hmm. about uh, the single life. Mm-hmm. You're a single guy. Single guy. Um, well off. A nice, successful black man out here, business owner. Doing I try. Big things. I um, try. What exactly do you do? <laughs> well, if you do don't mind lo- me asking. I do a couple of different things, really. Um <laughs> Yeah, cause you you've been like making jokes about that I for a like minute. I would like to know. What and you exactly Holiday you be do. telling me like people <laughs> ask him that stuff too. So I own a lot. I own some property. Okay. Um, for starters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And I do a lot of investing into my friends and family. For example, I won't go into detail with um with some of the stuff because I don't just want to put no names and businesses out there. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of stuff that y'all are doing around Atlanta that I've invested into. You feel what I'm saying? Dope. Definitely. So um. 
Yeah, we'll leave it at that. I got a company we'll that, that I need some investors. Would you like to invest uh, in my? I invest into serious companies with established CEOs <laughs> who I know my return on investment is coming. Um, and the people that I have invested okay, with. Okay, cut his mic. Can we cut his <laughs> mic? Or, uh... <laughs> no, like, he, he just be like, yo, it ain't work, man. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It just didn't work. Okay. So, being a businessman in the city, man, like I said, I know you're, you're pretty much looking for that that other side of the, the life when you want to be married and have kids and stuff like that. Why hasn't that happened? Um, and is it the lifestyle of moving to Atlanta and everything it has to offer with the fruits and the labor? I think every man uh, wants to be married and have kids and all of that at some point. Um, but it's nothing you rush. It's nothing you say, oh, it's time for me to get married. So let's say, yeah, you know. Let me just go with whatever. So how long to is too long for you? Um, do you really, have a cutoff point? Like, do you, do you have, have a cutoff in your point? head? Like, I need to be married by this age, or I'm not doing it. Do you have nah? Because no? la- 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 ladies are 18. It's 2018. Because so, ladies have ladies, ladies I, do I, have that. Like, oh, I have to have kids by this age, or I have to be married by this age, or I'm just not gonna do it. I think ladies do have that cutoff point, but they have that cutoff point when they hit the age of like 12. They got this in their <laughs> head that hey, when I hit this 12. age, oh yeah, the women that's their goal to get married and have kids. I mean, not, like, not, no, that's not true. Yes, you know, it that's, is. No, that's so not it, true. That is true. Everyone, that is it's not every woman's goal. It's no one. I've never heard a woman say I want to grow. Hey, that's not a goal of ours. That's Honestly, not a goal. you're so, in here with four women, and and they can. That's any of y'all want to grow old goal. by yourself? No, no, that's okay. different. Like we don't want to grow old by ourselves, but that's not something like, oh, I'm gonna, I gotta get married. Like that's just not that's like definitely something I think, I think that y'all is on y'all goal. I think is. every woman. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. At a certain really? point in her life, wants to be married. How are you man. guys gonna speak for the women that are in here shaking their heads, saying no? It's saying, but you and one other person. Raven and I said think, yes. That's you wanna, your, you that's when he really goes. Yeah. You want to be married? No, no, that's not the question. Yes, we want to be married at some point in time, but that's not a, a goal. Like that's not something we say. Well, I gotta. It, it's not a goal. Like I would think that's not. every woman's goal. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I thought it was it's a goal. not. It's Definitely. really not. The number one goal too. No. It's not. To each his own. <laughs> That's right. Everybody has a different opinion. You know, mm. so some people that I'm is different. So hold on, hold on. That so, is some people. So goal. marrying me and having kids wasn't a goal. That's not a goal. So no. what was it for you then? What do you mean? It wasn't a goal. It was something that I wanted, but it wasn't a goal. It's it's a difference. So I was can't it a really cutoff? Was it. it a cutoff age for you? With that situation? Well, I said to myself, if I don't have kids by thirty five, then I just. I just give it up, <laughs> honestly. Box it up. Like, yeah, I mean, Pussy I feel like 35. No, I'm not saying that. I just was saying if I don't have kids by 35, then maybe I just shouldn't have kids. I'm always looking at, like, you know how they say when you go past a certain age and you have kids, you run the risk of something being wrong with your kids or something happening to you. So I was Man, looking at stuff 20, like that. But it's, Definitely 20, but it's 2018, though. I know. I, I feel like all of that, don't get me wrong, I heard that too. Mm-hmm millions of times but i feel like it's 2018 and now stuff is different because we operate different than our parents did like our parents worked hard labor jobs on the railroad Mm -hmm. uh uh, uh, stuff like that so like us our jobs we don't work hard labor jobs we're not using our hands we still people look (laughs) young into their 50s nowadays so it's like i don't i don't believe those complications that um, was then though like you said now 35 is not an old age to have kids mm -hmm. now like you're saying like i i agree like more than me alone had a baby didn't she uh not too long ago shoot it's somebody janet jackson think about how she just had one she just had a baby oprah ain't even got one taraji p henson just had one that she's pregnant taraji is pregnant that's Mm -hmm. rumored right now so you know and she's 40 yeah Yeah. so 40 something so maybe maybe the roles are switched and it's like remember how guys used to have like we wanted to be established as man mm-hmm. and financially and everything right. to Still have kids do. in a family mm-hmm. now women are like nah fuck that we want to be established too and have our business together and then have kids no, that's, that's like, very but true. back in the day because you, you kind of threw the old rule in there like back in the day yes that was the first priority yeah. right. it was yeah. taught like that and, and fresh out of high school too they was trying to start a family yeah you see know? that was the first thing from my mind okay like, well you I can't am. talk to her like that she's a she's an alpha woman like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I was focused on my business and, and, and handling you know like he said getting the bag that's what I was focused on so in, in even at what twenty nine? When I got so, pregnant, like I'm I said, like, it's a new day and age because women was having kids at nineteen, right? Back in the seventies, right. eighties. Now You're women right. wait until they thirty to have their first baby, You're right? You and know? then if I have to tell any, if I tell any woman right now, I tell women to wait. 
Yeah. Like wait, well, now, get your traveling. But the women and all who don't have them the and the men too, mm-hmm. they will tell. I had a, a homeboy tell me he was having um a baby today, and I'm like, damn, like he's one of my younger home. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You having kids for me, but most you want to have them young. Y'all yeah. did right. Y'all had them young. Right. You don't want to be right. running around. I don't and, feel like know. we had them young. <laughs> I don't either, honestly, but yeah. I feel like we could have. And y'all probably five. didn't, but they, it looks like that. Tw- like, yeah, it oh, do. Right. It do. But it do. see, the way we had them, though, they can, you know, get a little bit older, and then we can do our traveling and, and not have to worry about leaving them with places. But see, like you, on the other hand, yeah, you need be, to get yeah. your traveling and stuff out of the way now because yeah, you have your up. kids. Yeah. Ain't no well, I'm gonna send them over with y'all. You no, know? you're not. But Ryan gonna be of age then. No, the hell you her, will not. Shoot her, honey. You will definitely not do that. Well, definitely. you could, cause you know we have our third baby. <laughs> um, oh, <laughs> can we cuss on him? We can't cuss. Okay. Oh, no, you shit. can cuss. We're not having no motherfucking more kids, nigga. No, Ebony. You ain't talking about the clip. Man, we already oh, talked okay. about this. Okay. She's <laughs> not right now. You're no. not ready to tell the world yet. No. Oh. We're not having no more kids. You know you don't want to have no more kids right now. Sorry. I'm gonna just, just Moving on. I'm just playing for the record. I'm not <laughs> pregnant. Lord, I'm not pregnant. Okay. I <laughs> Is this wood? Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> where, where we got to find some wood. Lord. Okay, that's wood. All right. Good. All right. So, and then J-Rock on top of that, like I said, I just for the record, ladies, I want y'all to know you're, you're kind of getting – a conversation with that guy in Atlanta that you know you probably dating or you're kicking in with, but he just won't take it to the next step with you. Is that safe to say that, J. Rock, with you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got a, I got a situation, Chip, but you know. And you you thinking about <coughs> taking it to the next step? Or you, what are you saying? You're not because you know because like this is an open table, man. You've been engaged before. I have. Why didn't it work? Um, cause I wasn't ready. See, I think, I think I, I was in a, I was in a relationship and, um, you know, like you say, when women hit like 30, a certain they age, they know married. what they and want. So, yeah. You know, at the time I thought I was going to lose her. So I panicked and I proposed. Prematurely. I thought you were Prematurely. Lose. Yeah. I wasn't, right. I wasn't ready. I right. wasn't ready. Yeah. And see, that's one of the big things that like, I, and I, I respect that. you for that though, because I feel like if you would have went ahead and went through with it, knowing you weren't ready, you probably would have ended up cheating or y'all would have ended up divorced. Definitely. You know, so yeah. that's one thing I do respect you for, even though I feel like you need to go ahead and get your girl back. But anyway, you know, we ain't going to. Uh, uh, um, face it. Face it. <laughs> I'm just saying somebody yeah. else will snatch her. Yeah, at that time, I will. I don't think you, if, not, if, you would, if you wouldn't be mad if a nigga snatched your girl up, then you really didn't care. Like, would you be mad right now if you, you see her with. The new wide receiver nigga that played for the Falcons. Would you be pissed? Heck yeah, he would. No, hold on. Would you be pissed? Yes, you, he the would. Falcons, though? I mean, I'm, I'm, Look, I'm taking it all the way to the top. It's, it's so crazy because right before we started this podcast, I was on the IG and I saw, I was just about to show it to you, but it said, when men cheat, they cheat with an ugly big booty chick. They say when women cheat, they go out and find oh, a nigga yeah, who's taller, gotta, darker, You're supposed to. Got a man but hold on, with not the, with me. The helipad Wait, in the backyard. Because our main goal is to make y'all. Like, but why would you want to fuck me up like that, baby? For the rest, <laughs> you want to go out and date a nigga on the Falcons? If we gonna do that, we gotta that's what go I said. above would y'all. Would you be upset right now, yes. knowing who yes. we know who that person yes. is to you? Yes. Would you be upset? Yes. Would because it make you? Would, like, it, would it make you react? Like she tell you, I'm All right, financially nigga, successful, but you gonna go to a nigga on the Falcons? We have to. We have to go to what somebody you to do? higher than you. You want to be with a broke nigga? Now, he ain't got to be broke, but the we have to line. go higher than you. We have to like have that's to just go we have every to. time. We have to. We can't go down. Like, I wouldn't cheat on Ebony. I wouldn't do it. But if it was somebody, <laughs> oh, so it would quick. be somebody else. <laughs> oh, so quick on that. No, I'm just saying. It would Good be job, somebody baby. else. So you ain't gonna upgrade. And, no, you know? for real, she would really have to be like, "Well, fuck you." You know, yeah. I know who that is. All right, cool. I get yeah. it. Well, not even I get it. Like, but. I think he would hurt me if I find out he cheated with somebody that's, like, either, like you said, ugly or a broke chick or, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, at least yeah. if you're going to cheat, Upgrade. make it worth it. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because like, you're going right. to lose me, but make it worth somebody that you want to be if with. Get caught cheating, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Stuck with you. Right. This Wake is who you're going to be with like, now. Yo, you So make sure it's somebody like, you yeah. worth, she's worth losing me over. That's yeah. how I That's how I look at it. And that's what I was saying. And every time I get drunk in the club, I always say that shit to her. Like, no, I mean, there's it's some bad bitches in here, but you ain't, they ain't bad as you or yeah. bad ass. Yeah. And then you can be bad all day long, but can they raise kids and can they obtain a household and you know what I'm saying? Can they do that type of stuff? Well, one thing I can Being guarantee you, you got this nigga here. 
Cause like <laughs> I've known him since since we started looking at girls, and this I nigga is not the same. Lot. He's not the I same. I hear that no a lot, man. but that's what a woman is supposed to do to a man. Supposed to, and and I want to feel like that when I get married too. I want for my homeboys to be like, "Damn, you see that shine?" I'll be like, "Hey, hey, hey this nigga." I mean, hey, he I'm can look. He, I catch him looking a lot of times in the club and stuff. I'm gonna look now. <laughs> like I Still catch it. Still got eyes. But as long as it don't go past looking, some nigga said her cool. dick pick the day in a group oh, chat. Oh shit. <laughs> Not a nigga, but girls. It was a girl. Mm. I was going to send it to you, Raven, too, but I forgot on the way, so I sent it to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you went to that, Raven? No, a girl. Oh, okay. She in a group no, chat. She in a group chat. She in a group chat with other like wives and shit uh-huh. and girlfriends. Matter of fact, Tay sent it to me. Yeah, infamous, infamous wife. Infamous wife. So why would Tay, a wife? It's a, it was a joke. It was a joke. Oh, no. Nah, I mean, I wouldn't show Don't be joking. It was like the, no, it was like, let them be joking. It was like the hurricane <laughs> coming, click on this shit to, to see to if make your sure. city is in and it. And it was a nigga with a big dick. Yeah, a huge one. Like, and that's, that's, their excuse, like, that's their excuse for looking at a dick. <laughs> a joke. So, it was a joke. Anyway, moving right. forward. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, double check that yeah. chat. All right, All right y'all, let's get into these topics, baby. All right. So, um... This is something everybody's been talking about. It's all sure. over everything. And you have been under a rock if you didn't hear about Nicki Minaj oh and Cardi goodness. B. <laughs> they got into some type of something. You know, some type of then. Some type of altercation. Good old um, love and hip hop fight. They were at an icons party. And at an icons party, yeah, you yes. fighting at the Herman yes. place for everything. Fly it was during shit. during New York Fashion Week, yeah. and apparently Cardi tried to go at Nicki Minaj when they were what is what was that the red was it the red carpet? No, it was just like the they just were area and crossing shit. each other's pathway, mm-hmm. and she tried to get to Nicki Minaj and somehow didn't connect with her, mm-hmm. so she threw a shoe. Wow. And I don't know if that touched her or not. I don't think it did. But she left. She got escorted out with a huge knot on her head. And my statement with that is, my nigga, look, y'all know Nikki, my homie. I always champion her in this uh, in this podcast. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's like, man, when you poke a bear and you pop off, I swear to God, that's one thing I respect about uh, my beautiful wife. Like, nigga, you cap. I know in person it's going yeah, down. It ain't yeah. no motherfucking no. I'm cool. I talk no nigga. Like, and I feel the same way. If a nigga capping by me, bro, on that Instagram, that but, shit ain't real. No man, no, I don't give a fuck where it's at. I, I would feel what. <clears throat> Cardi said she did that to Nikki because she heard that or she saw Nikki like a comment. And that's the part that baby. I had. Now I heard and that too. Not, and I had some people are saying it's not true. If, hey, okay, if it so, was true, it would somebody would have posted it by now. Right. Okay, cool. But it, it, if it happened behind closed doors and we didn't know about it, just like all the other stuff that came out, then that that's between them. But it just got up to a point right right then and there. Like she said they had two altercations where they met, they talked, they tried to smooth it out. Right. It did not happen. Stuff kept happening. Right. Cause y'all understand it's a lot of shit that happens behind closed doors that I even know about and I'm like damn you know what I'm saying that happened and they're like yeah nigga but you know and it, we went for the cameras yeah. cool I get it but y'all gotta understand man when you reach that level of some shit it don't matter where the fuck you at that's why I kind of salute Cardi on that shit I fuck with nigga too but so, my nigga, so if it's gonna place, go, babe, I don't that's give a her fuck first, where we at. That's her first New York Fashion Week. Was that she, it? Couldn't have waited to the after nah, party nah, or certain, nothing like, like when you talking about people, kids. And I don't even have okay, no kids. cool. That's a when team you're around about people, her kids, though. And you got kids, uh, EJ. If some girl says something about your kids and you know you don't see her much and you see her, you're gonna address that right yeah, then but, and but, there. But what they say she got mad about was not something to... I just said it was built up stuff. That was... I, yeah, I heard her say that type of stuff out loud, and it mm-hmm. was cool, whatever like that. That could be true. It could not be true, but you know it was a whole bunch of shit. Y'all do know they just had a big-ass billboard hit, and they weren't even in the same shot together for the video. Yeah, yeah. Right, that, That's right. a problem. But Y'all I mean, know they, that, right? They've been... I mean, <laughs> I told you from... From when she came out and she just started topping the charts, topping the charts, topping the charts, Cardi, I'm speaking of, and Nikki wasn't, I already knew it was going to be some type of Listen, y'all. something. And, you know? I, and then again with this conversation, y'all got to stop comparing them to. Yes, but, Nikki did 10 good years of work. She's broken boundaries. She's put women up there back again. Because y'all know before Nikki, it wasn't nobody but like little Kim. And that shit was right. 10 years ago, ago before that. 
So let Nikki have her her spot. Bottom, bottom line, and do what she do. Bottom but line Cardi done had one good great ass year, right? And she's gonna continue to have more years of her fans keep bottom supporting. Line she keep is putting this out hits. Here. Nikki and I'm a big Nikki fan. I've had a chance to meet her through you the whole nine. Um, I'm a Cardi B fan. Me and we stay out of shit like this. But right. I'm gonna I'm give my opinion. I feel like Cardi B is what 24, 25 years old. Young one. Nikki Young. is. 37, 38 years old. Something like that. I just feel like Nikki just need to grow up a little bit. You but, know what I'm but, saying? But, but, like, you shouldn't be beefing with no, a 25 you know what? year old. True. But when like, you feel like somebody is trying to take your spot, you gonna do that. I ain't that. trying to. She's know, gonna take her you spot. You, she's like older it, you know now. She's and gonna, no, listen. Nikki she's, need to put some clothes on. Okay. Like, she need to put on some clothes. She needs to act a little bit more like a diva. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, no other she woman needs to her act age like with how her success. She, how she says she's the queen, and she, she's saying right. like she, she paved the way for Cardi, basically. Queen's this not is, arguing with the princess. But this is the main thing that she was saying, though. You know, how she was saying she always acknowledged the people before her. So the Lil' Kims and the, the people that came right. before her. Um, Nikki always says she acknowledged them. Mm -hmm. She's basically saying like Cardi needs to acknowledge her. Yeah, she's coming out. She's well, new, but she needs to own acknowledge own her. Let her do it her. on her own, own, own time. time. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can't and, require that. Like, right. I but agree. she's just saying that's the respect that she feels like she's due. Like, yeah, Cardi is coming behind me, sounding similar, doing similar type things. But no. but they've been beefing oh, since day one. Listen, Cardi listen, never they, had the opportunity. They to did the same. Her. Listen, Nikki was in the same seat a couple years right. ago. Right, and she said when Nick, she when she was popping off. Respect to those people before. Her. But then they had beef. They had an right. issue. They had a problem. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And the people before her too were never active while Nikki was active. But like, Nikki, like but I see, said, like Lil Kim was this, done though, by the time honestly, Nikki came along. Even I was listening to Queen Radio, and a lot of this Nikki had a point with this. She said a lot of this social media is making them uh, against each other because she said she can come out with a rap today that she wrote five years ago, and y'all gonna make it that she's talking about throwing shots at Cardi, mm -hmm. even though she wrote that rap five years ago before Cardi was even popping. And she, yeah. th so I feel like a lot of it is social media turning them again, like yeah. making them fight yeah, against was, each other. You I know was, what I'm I saying? I was about to say that. Like because another song that she came out with on her album, now I forgot what she said the name of it was, she said she wrote that two, three years ago before Cardi. And y'all are making it seem like these verses are about Cardi when she wrote that before Cardi was even doing anything. She was... um. A song with Winnie talking about Winnie or something like that. It was like an after party she was at, and she said it was not about Cardi at all. It was before Cardi. But yeah. y'all are making it seem like every verse talking about a woman is throwing shots at Cardi. So she kind of had a point. And if you listen yeah, to it, like yeah. Nikki, she always talks up about herself, and she always do a reference as she's talking to a female rapper who's trying to come up or whatever, trying to win. You know, at the and, end of the day, rappers do that too. Y'all, it's right. too many of them niggas out there. At the so end, so y'all don't know day, who to put it on. You shouldn't even. I feel like when it comes to Nicki, and, and like I say, I don't know the, the the details to all of it, but I feel like you shouldn't have yourself in that type of position when you're in that position that right, she's in. Right, right. She Meaning, shouldn't be acting right that now. Way. If Holiday was going back and forth with a 22 year old DJ who coming up and it said, "I'm gonna be, be calling you," and like, bro, what, what the fuck are you doing? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If if I'm going at it with a young executive in this, like, bro, what are you doing, my no, nigga? Like, right. come on, my nigga, you supposed yeah. to be an OG. You supposed to be. You supposed to just uh, be giving them on advice your throne, and stuff, right? Knowing that you got that position, Nikki well, don't have to do another record. In but her let, life let, let's let's let, let's call a spade a spade, though, y'all. Still understand that she's new and fresh to this shit. She just got popping, y'all, a couple she months who? ago. Cardi. Cardi, yeah. And uh, yes, that's our first whatever fucking show that was that she wasn't supposed to be at, I guess, and now she went there and it's dope but she was there. But let me ask this. She a superstar, this. though, bro. One Do y'all expect the world right now. anything different from Cardi? Because Cardi has been Cardi since day yeah, one. Yeah, I know where she came you know from. So that's what I said. She's, I salute her for seeing her on site and doing something but about But that's what it. I'm saying. She's never portrayed to be this, oh, I'm not going to fight you on a red carpet type of chick. She's nah, always nigga, been the one That's like, why I fuck with her for know? that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. niggas, you, you talking that shit? Nigga, I don't want yeah. no talking. Yeah. And y'all know who my enemies is around this motherfucker. I got a couple. Okay, so let me ask if this. If I see you, it's on, on site. Bang. Period. What? Team Cardi, Team Nikki. 
Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, EJ. Team Cardi, like, Team again, Nikki. Like, again, again. Answer the when question. When you get to our age Answer and maturity level, oh, I you definitely, shouldn't okay. even be in that type of stuff. No, I will. I will. Answer and that's what we're saying. I'm, I'm Nikki team. should not even be in Don't issue. try to play it safe. No. Cause you, I'm not going to play it safe. I'm not friends with Cardi B right now. Like, we haven't had our conversation that we were supposed to have because yeah. of the, after the Super Bowl Yeah, shit. Holiday had and an altercation cool. with Cardi oh, B. And too. Nikki, we're not going to go into detail with that. But Nikki is my friend. We talk. We text. We talk. Asking me about music stuff, I've get send the motivational shit, you know. And y'all started out together to a certain yeah. degree. Y'all started out together. Right, we so. got history, my nigga. That's uh-huh. the one person I can call that's you know. So loyalty. So that's what cool. I'm trying to tell you about. But it, but in this thing. situation, uh-huh. I still can voice my opinion. Right. And I think right. you know I've hit her, and even when we had a conversation in New York, I told her. Like, dude, relax. Like, you that bitch. You ain't gotta do all this back and forth shit. Mm. The internet gonna do that. I said the internet is poison. It's gonna fucking put y'all against each other. It don't matter what that girl do. She put out another hit, another hit, another hit. Let her grow and do her fucking thing and let her be blossom. But you put 10 years in this shit and you can successfully did that shit. That's hard to do. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Let alone one motherfucking year. Yeah. So, nigga, like, sit on your throne, eat, eat and fucking and win and, and put out shit when you want to. You have nothing to prove anymore. But the internet. It has nothing to do. It's a whole bunch of nobodies doing nothing. Doing nothing. And they're putting you against each other. That's like true. I just told Ebony. Motherfucking, if it's if Ebony's on TV right now, if it was a younger bitch who came behind her, they'd be on her head like, oh, she trying to take your spot, Risky. Ugh, you ain't doing shit. Same thing with me, whoever, a DJ, whatever. Like at the end of the day, my shit charred, my shit doing great. But at the end of the day, if my shit reach another plateau, another level, I keep consistently doing that shit, they're going to put me against Cali. You know and that. guess what, EJ? I'm right, gonna invest, that's what they're doing now. I'm going to invest in that shit oh when it happens. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, next topic. Man. <laughs> Put up the check, nigga. All right. Um, so, Mac Miller passed away. Oh, yeah, RIP. 26 man. years old. Rest in peace to him. Um, he passed away of an overdose. Um, and they say that Karen Civil was the one that found him in his <sighs> room. She walked in and found him. So that's something. That, I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that. Yeah, Damn. They posted Broke that. that. Shit quick. They had pictures of her crying really hard and like in shock from after leaving, discovering him. What is so, Karen Civil doing at his house? Well, you know, him and Karen were really, really good friends. Right, she do a they, lot of consulting for they a lot of They did say yeah, they that. were a little more than friends. It was a rumor. For her to be in his house. It was a rumor, but no, they say she was going to pick him up for a video or something like that, or meet him for a video or something mm-hmm. she was going for, for business. Right. But if you ever looked at Mac Miller's page and his comments, you'll see Karen comment on pretty much everything. Like, they were mm. really, really good friends. So I can't imagine that being romantic. Shit. I mean, know what niggas it's Hollywood but, though. Anything's possible yeah, in Hollywood. People. You're right. Trust me, I've been a time right. to They were all really, the way in there. Yeah. But, but anyway. So yeah, rest in peace to him. Um, a and lot Mac of people, Miller was nice too. People go listen to his ish. But geez, nice. 20, 26 years old. That's yeah. just like don't do guys, drugs, kids. Nah, man, you can do whatever y'all. you want to do. Just don't overdo it. But please, nah, stay off the drugs, man. It's stay just too. It's 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 crazy. But but in regards to that. Um, a lot of people were blaming Ariana Grande, which is his ex, for him dying. Internet. You know, they said, Poison. well, they said when they were together, she was kind of helping him and he wasn't doing as much drugs as, as uh, he was doing when they broke up. So when they broke up, they said he just went overboard. He got in a, a car accident. Um, D, he got a DUI. And just things started happening after they broke up. So, but you can't they blame were, her now. That now I can't. That's what I was gonna ask. Sick, do you all dress, think? That dress she think had on that, at uh, Aretha's funeral. Well, no, you funeral. know she got engaged. I can see how he can be sick. She got engaged to somebody. <laughs> Like six months after they broke up, she they was engaged. engaged. Oh. Yeah, nah, she so. she was with somebody else after him. though. she was with just what in Justin Bieber or um, <laughs> no, nigga, you no, Ariana. No, she was when she, she went, was um, not she was with, not with no Sean. fucking nigga. That was before. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I'm on. See, so like I said, she got engaged to somebody like six months after they broke up. So you don't see how that can like really. It leads you to believe somebody, that, you know, they that, that they're probably already around, was talking right? and shit. Like, oh, that's my friend. That's my homeboy. Yeah, whatever. You can't, you, know? you can't blame But shit happens. Boy, you though. never know how it's going to pan out. But uh, go ahead. You done? No, I was going to say, um, do you feel like, could you blame an ex for that? Like, No, not at all. I wouldn't blame my uh, ex for fucking him up. Like, 
Nigga, mm-hmm. look, bro, you're responsible and you gotta for get your up. own self. You know what? As a matter of fact, I remember why me and Holiday. Oh my best god. Okay, you know what? Now, yo. Why? You was it when I was we broke up? up? No, oh, it was okay. I was, I was about fucked to say. up in college. <laughs> He stayed next door to me. We used to throw parties. You know what I'm saying? He uh-huh. was a DJ. But anyway, I was fucked was up legend. over my ex. And, man, she probably going to hear this, too. I was fucked up over my ex. i never forget. I was in my boxers. And Holiday <laughs> came and got me. Y'all got a he lot was of like, bro. He was like, bro. Paul stand No, no, no. I'm sitting. No, I'm serious. He, came, he stayed next door to me. He came and okay, got me. Okay, he was in your boxers. And Holiday was Make sure ride. you let he, us he know was, that. He was ready to ride. We rode past her house. <laughs> Together. You remember that? Yeah. He took me to, to ride past her house. I'm crying. I'm sick and a wife beater because I feel like she's cheating on me. <laughs> she and was she was. cheating on and you, And she though. was cheating on me. Nigga, and with your motherfucking roommate. With my roommate, my nigga. Wow. Oh, nigga. And, that's, and that's how I knew this nigga was going to be oh, my friend. He took me to drive stuff. past her house. We drove past her house together, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm in the passenger seat she, crying. He she, like, hey, bro, it's going to be okay. Did you see something? Like, no. we, I didn't oh, see okay. nothing that no, night. I like, found out that she was fucking with my roommate. She was fucking and with ladies, his trust roommate. me, there's I no reason for you to be cheating bro. on me. And trust what's, me. what's so crazy, <laughs> bro? Like, <laughs> like, there's no what's reason. What's so crazy about me. it, bro? Prior to that, a couple of weeks before, I remember we was all in front of the neighborhood. We always used to meet in front of the neighborhood in the parking lot and smoke or something or kick it. And dude was there. And his other roommate yeah. was there, and J. Rod was there, and, and we was all talking. And we was about all who talking, she and he was like, "Damn, bro, I, like I don't know if she do." And I remember Buddy was like, just kind of nonchalant about it. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Man, something going on, bro." And you remember that we sitting out there talking, <laughs> and he he ended up saying, "I got to go iron my clothes because I got a date tonight." He left us there talking in the parking lot. He went to iron his clothes to go on a date. With my, with my I don't know if it was oh, her. No, no, I ain't gonna say that. My roommate, who, <laughs> oh, okay, who, who okay. was, it was cheating he was with my on girl, a date with your girl, he's going on. He had to leave us wow. from talking about who my girl might be cheating on with to go on a date with. Her. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, you were putting that she dick thing down. Shitting me, nigga. That is so Call crazy. Call her right now, nigga. On on the podcast, you gotta hit that left hook. You that right. Hook. Okay, back to the topic. Never had no Gosh. <laughs> But to finish out this Mac Miller thing, he was worth nine million dollars when he he had a net worth of nine mean, million man? when he died. Man, His streams was went up nine hundred and seventy percent more than what they were when he's happen. alive. That like, record label, who's that's so to? crazy. He wasn't. Well, didn't oh, yeah, say he, he split? Yeah, his. That's why he had the the like net worth like of yeah, yeah, that net worth uh, of nine million. Easier, because he got about seven. They say he got about seventy percent of. His streams or something, and they had to split the thirty, yeah, something like that. Profit, yeah, so but his, no, his, his family. Moving on. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so there was a white police officer that accidentally, Jesus is not funny. She accidentally shot someone. Um, accidentally. Accidentally shot someone that she thought was in her apartment, but she was actually in his apartment. I, I just don't. I don't understand he, this. I, I, she I'm went to understand. the wrong apartment saying that it was her apartment. Downstairs. And she shot this dude and, like, killed him. He was smashing. She got pissed off because she seen another chick or knew about him dealing with another chick. Is she knew she happened? was an officer of the law. It's, ta- it's called using your um, your position to, 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 to be able to make something happen without getting caught. Yeah, so I mean, she went in his yeah. apartment killed him knowing that she was a good upholding citizen of the yeah. law mm-hmm. and yeah yeah she tried I to say, say I definitely she think this is something that's say, not. she tried to say she thought it was her apartment she walked in and saw a big a big uh silhouette coming towards her and knowing it was her apartment and nobody was supposed to be in there she shot him but how she, she get said in the apartment she if said it was the locked. door she said the door was ajar that's how she was able to get in. Ajar. It, it, Define <laughs> the that door was open slightly. Use that in a sentence, please. And uh, <laughs> and that's how she was able to get in. But there was a video that surfaced from another lady that lives in that same apartment building. The door is on a jar. And she tried to keep her door open on all type of ways she could, and her door would not stay open. It, it was they they're heavy doors, so they just slammed short shut. My there nigga, was no way to keep nigga, it open. My nigga, listen to me. Whatsoever. I have. Listen, my best friend is one of the biggest DJs in the world, so you can imagine some of the parties we've been to and come home lit at night. Right. And I've never, right. ever walked into the wrong apartment. You know, you would, sober, I never walked. And she was mention, sober, listen, leaving her shit. He had a red, like a red um, doormat. If you didn't have a red doormat in front of your door, that would have right there my let nigga. you know this is not if my apartment. If anybody in the world can you know call in and say that they've walked to the wrong but door, but look at how they portrayed. They like, look at how they portrayed. All her. I'm this gonna was, say, look, babe, this was the headline. 
I mean, this is what they said about her. She was so tired from working a very long shift at work. Like, this is how they're describing her. Now, if this was somebody black, it wouldn't have been none of this. Oh, my. If this was somebody none. bright, brown, brown whatever. So I all I'm going to say is like, white privilege. And I'm sorry, y'all. This is the world we live in. Had this been any other person. You know she's any, out on bond, too, by the way. Out on bond. Like, Probably look, working my nigga, paid, look, paid, look, my nigga, look. We, we ain't going to spend a whole bunch of time on this. But like I'm saying, bro. Y'all niggas be safe out there, and please just get home to your kids and your family and your loved ones at the end of the night, man, because we are not the favor. These niggas is out to get us, and I hope y'all understand and know this shit. It's not the same. And to and that mother, until and and y'all and, and, and motherfuckers get out Was there. He black? Black. Yes. Oh. And, 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 until and, y'all, he, and he's not going to get justice. 26. And until y'all get out here and vote and, and participate, and things like that, man, for your governor and things like that, bro, this shit is not going to change. I'm motherfucking president that did some of the dumbest shit in the you fucking world in the I last just don't couple years. how he's still. And how many oh, years he been in? Two? dinner with the Averys. No, nah, I ain't no. Jobs. Two, one year? <laughs> one motherfucking year, my nigga. Like, for real. Y'all got to understand. Like, did y'all hear the little 9-11 shit? Not to cut off from the statement, but yeah, y'all, we'll talk about that too, but. This nigga said yeah. that he had many, many, many friends that, that died lost their lives in 9/11. In 9/11. Mm. And then they went back and did he the research on this nigga. This nigga funeral. didn't attend one funeral for 9/11. Cuz he was lying. And didn't know anybody in 9/11. He said it to gain the grief of all the people who lost people in 9/11 right. for votes or whatever. Right. People, people My won't. nigga, y'all please, man, stay woke and just understand what the fuck is going on. This shit fucked up out here. So stay to your own and goddamn it, vote, man, when it's time. When y'all see somebody who really hope, can change his world. I hope that man and his family get justice, though. Rest there's in no peace way to him. She walked Bot- into his house uh, sober. I don't care Botham, how tired you are. Botham Jean, I don't that's really know bullsh- how to pronounce it. That is some bullshit. Rest in peace to him, because that's, that's real. That's like, straight I up bullshit. That. Been, book, you at home? You telling been, me you can, like, uh, so a white person can come in my motherfucking house. A white person can come in my house. And shoot me and yes. say she thought she was in her career. Yes, in America, of course. What the fuck? Tonight, and tomorrow, guess what? The next top five, your record, whatever is going to do with that, and then they're going to replace you. Right. The next right. day. Yeah. Right. A white person America, can walk yeah. in your fucking house and kill you. And but had it been the other way around, they, had it been a black the, cop but the kill way a, white, that they're a like, white lady? Oh, my goodness. The way that they're trying to justify it is what, like, irks me. Because, oh, she was so tired. She worked a double shift at oh, work. Motherfucker, you so like, tired. You go to the she wrong She was crib. hysterical about it. And, and, like, come on now. Come on. And she said her house. And the door it was, was a jar. It was pitch black. So she saw a black silhouette coming up. Come on. You not finna walk in your house and not turn on that light when you first walk in that house. Good ass lawyer. Come I'm on. willing to bet that they were smashing. And I'm to put this on record. I'm the first to say this. You already said I it. I guarantee you they were smashing. <laughs> And she found out about another chick. She went up there. She wanted to kill him. That was her. So that was happened. her alibi. I mean, all right. Let's get to the food, y'all. Oh, food. All right, y'all. The food is here, Ooh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, old faithful. <laughs> Just like you know, an old girlfriend old that never faithful. goes away. <laughs> <laughs> east side, Chef John. east side, east side, and the, uh, little John and the east side boys is here. What's up, bro? What up, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm good, man. What have you prepared today? Hold on, let me just good. let me just say I'm sorry, but my food is like I've killed my plate before we even. St- I'm sorry, yeah, it's that, it's really good. We know. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnny. <laughs> I, did, I did um surf and turf tonight with uh some, surf and turf surf and turf. For people who don't know what surf and turf is, what is that? Um, surf. Think of surf. You think of water. Mm-hmm. So I did a um a salmon and crab salmon and crab cake. And then I did a mushroom risotto mm-hmm. with some roasted carrots and squash, mm. a lemon beurre blanc, and um, a grilled flat iron steak. That's really good. This is my first time. Surf, surf and turf to Lakeisha is a hamburger <laughs> and, no, and a fish it's, fillet sandwich. And fish fillet sandwich. No, y'all. Oh, that's don't true. Trust and believe. Facts. Sean, do you know what a surf and turf is? Oh. I'm just playing. I you never, try- I'm not... Pl- do you? Does she's your friends? She's a little younger. <laughs> do your friends know what a surf and turf is? If you just like, oh girl, you want some surf and turf? But most of the time, people think of like lobster and steak. For no, surf it's and with turf. something that's on land. I know, but that's what people sea. normally associate it with. Well, I didn't. Think. This is my first time ever having risotto. Really? I always hear it, but I never get it. And I, I really thought rice? I was eating rice. Yeah, it's like a pasta. But it's, it's a like form a, of it's a, it's a yeah. form of pasta. It is. I don't know. <laughs> 
Really I good. I thought risotto was kind of like, I don't know why I was thinking like texture of like oatmeal or something, but this is really good. You can obviously tell that J-Rock doesn't have a Listen, woman. Listen, John, I don't know what you call <laughs> this. Risotto, pot, whatever. But it is good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I need a woman to cook for me, man. <laughs> Anywho. So how was this prepared, sir? Next subject. Um, I cooked it with some uh, Parmesan cheese. I roasted the uh, mushrooms um, in a herb oil with some rosemary and thyme. And I finished it with a little bit of white wine and garlic and some heavy cream. You put no white wine in it. I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hold on, let me just say, <clears throat> Chef John. Yes, ma'am. You are the only one that he gives a hard time to, just to let you know That's that. That's my boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? He give everybody else to be so easy. I don't know them niggas, man. <laughs> Your dogs, you want them to be great, so you hold them accountable. Right. Exactly. But this is really good. Like, my plate really is almost gone. And then the the second dish, I mean, I may always make a savory dish, but tonight I made a dessert too. Mm. Um, I made a, a brownie orgy. The devil. A brownie orgy. The a brownie devil. orgy. Tell me how this orgy is concocted. The devil itself is it's like a, looking me in, it's in the a face double right fudge now. Like, brownie <laughs> with an Oreo and a chocolate chip cookies. What an Oreo is? It's inside it's the inside, brownie. You don't see that look. That's why it's an orgy. In the brownie. Yep. <laughs> you like them orgies? Y'all like them orgies? Do you like orgies? Oh, okay, because you're asking everybody else. <laughs> I'm trying to eat right now. Jay Rod, what's your favorite position? Oh, he needs to get the mic back. All of them. <laughs> you got to pick one if you had to go out and dine, hit some ass. What would your be? very last time, what position would you choose? <laughs> I like to teach a woman to be um, aggressive with me. <laughs> <laughs> but when I get re- when it's time to. No, that it's not no it's time, but, but the, what is your favorite position? I like to end in, in power. So, like, <laughs> I want to be. I like to end in power. So, I want to be on top, yeah, when, when, when it goes down. Uh-huh. But before that, I'm going to teach you to be aggressive with me. You feel me? We ain't talking about that. Jeff, John, what's your favorite position? From the side. On the side, your goddamn flapjack. Well, husband, what is yeah, your favorite right. position? Right, I can answer that. But what's your favorite position, babe? No, we want to hear from you, EJ. I yeah. know what his favorite position is. Tell me, baby, you like it from the back. From the back, yeah, doggy yeah. style. <laughs> <laughs> you dog, you dirty dog. <laughs> Did I answer that right? <laughs> you dirty dog, you. And and he always has some type of. Shut Oil up. nearby. He like like the oh! shit. Oh! 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 What's wrong, babe? What was you I not supposed to, to say that? To lube it down. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying he likes to lube it down. I'm saying he likes to have it shiny yeah, back there. Shiny. Not right, yeah, right, right. it's not lubing it down at all because we don't need no assistance with that. Whoa. I'm just saying, it's Get like <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying. I ain't saying that. She casual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling the story, babe. No, I, you know I like the oil. I like the like, <laughs> armor all the tires, people. Like, just <laughs> come on now, babe. Don't you? I thought we wasn't sugarcoating nothing. <laughs> spit on me, bro. He like, <laughs> <laughs> you spit why food is my on me, food all gone, <laughs> man? Yeah, man? Jeff John, you got some more? Oh um, no, that's it. Oh, yeah. see how you do? I'm sorry. I need a knife, though. This is really good. This is true. Thank you. I can't. Thank you. Nobody got a knife? Okay. I'm sorry. So now that we know everyone's favorite position, we've been. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm from the side. That's like usually after a couple years, we've been fighting around. Okay, I'm going to try something new. That's his favorite. <laughs> I mean, because you, you, you can say nasty side. shit in her ear while you're doing it. Oh, I talk a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, I ain't never like the slide. You know what? I you... talk a lot of shit, period. I mean, hey. One leg up. Mm-hmm. Y'all no? thinking I'm in the room, nigga. From this side, baby. Let's go. After they eat. From this side. <laughs> 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 oh, I bet they love you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they feed me, yo. How you gonna pay for this, baby? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know the routine. Get your ass over in the sun. Exactly. I'm in the club, four in the morning, baby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it, whip up a little something. I got you. Oh my God. Waffle, fuck Waffle House. I got it in my crib. John leaving no choice. That's hilarious. Baby, I see it from the side. You listen to the podcast. <laughs> 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 you heard the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, did you hear episode 22? Who else cooking and serving church for you after the cook? Dang, you Facts. know what? I forgot. <laughs> Never mind. Game time, baby. Woo! Hey, let's get it. Woo! All right. Woo! So let's play. J Rock is here. Let's give it to him, baby. You want to do Never Have I Ever or Would You Rather? No, let's get it out of him tonight. Paul. <sighs> well, okay, well, let's do Would let's You Rather then. Huh? Let's do Would You Rather. Would You Rather? Ask me let's anything go. tonight. Ask me anything. <laughs> Fuck the game. Ask me anything. <laughs> let's go. All right, let me just start off simple. Would you rather have. Anal sex or oral sex? Oral. I mean, that's easy. I, I like, said, let me start off easy. Yeah, that's that's oh, easy. Really? And you talking oral. about giving or, or giving or, or receiving? It, either, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got to. You go want to receive oral, oral bro? Receive hey, chill anal. out. Hey, chill out. You want to receive? Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> hey, Look, I'm like hey, either. Like, hey, hey, hey. Huh? Would you rather receive anal or, <laughs> or give oral? Ooh. I I'm would sure. definitely rather give oral. Yeah, yeah. I don't want nothing. Yeah, because if you know what you're doing with oral, you setting up for the, you know, for the grand slam. You feel me? That's true. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, do you know what you're doing? Holiday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying you got to court your turn next. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Bad, bad. Come on, man. Give me the works, man. Give me the okay, works. Okay, well, I got another one then. Go ahead. Do you, would you rather have a girl swallow or would you rather shoot it in her face? Mm. Both, both are dope. <laughs> are your eyes closed, man? I'm trying to imagine. <laughs> Like, yeah. Oh my god. Honestly, gosh. it depends on the girl you with. Like, if she's your girl, or if she like, just. If you're going to clean it up. But I love both. His like, eyes baby, are like, closed. You showing your loyalty to me, baby. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I didn't. Uh, yeah. Are y'all looking like that over there? <laughs> like, <laughs> we here to be honest, right? Like. I, so, which? What's the answer? What? What's the answer? I mean, you sh- let me shoot it in your face. All in the and, face. And if I fuck with you after that, then it's like, okay, I see where we going with this. In the face. But, <laughs> but if you sw- <laughs> if you swallow it. I know you fuck with I me. I know you like, fuck with me shit. too, cause that's like a real I like. I know you fucking with me. That's Listen like, to that, ladies. Let this be a uh, example to you. Yeah, he knows you fuck with him. Yeah, you. y'all understand. <laughs> that's like, that's like how you get that bag you want, or yeah. whatever you know. Yeah, and, and, right. and you. No, got, I'm not playing. Y'all. And you have room to argue at that well, point. Okay. Like, nigga, well, in I the swallow. ladies, in the ladies' right. defense. If you guys would like to go that route where you want the woman to swallow, Man, don't put, no, don't don't go put no, don't put no. Please be cautious about the things that you eat because you guys oh, do okay. have a taste. There you go, baby. So, if you w- you want the girl to really? swallow, yes, you definitely have yeah, a taste. I, I, Just like women, you want wi- women to eat pineapples and blah 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 mm-hmm. blah. It makes a difference we with want you that, guys. We want too. that water taste. What does cum yeah. taste like, Ebony? It, Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I never tasted shit. my own cum. But. We all quiet at here. No, I ain't never tasted my own cum. What does it taste like? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm at a loss for words right now, people. <laughs> like, what does it taste like? I mean, you're telling us to oh, fucking eat shit. pineapples and shit. What does it taste like? <laughs> you want your man to have a nice steak, a ribeye like, steak. Like, uh, just make sure you got it. Is it a water? Is it a water? Are you going to answer the question? I don't, I don't is know. Is it a lemonade? I, I do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what pussy tastes like? <laughs> Mine. Do you wow. know? You know what your pussy tastes like? Uh, yes. You do. Okay, All people. women should know what their stuff they tastes should, like. Nigga. If, if you, most of the time, most of the time, men most of the time men take their penis out of a woman right. and put it in their mouth intentionally. So you know what because they like. say if. No, huh? you are alive. How? How? Wait, what? Nigga, you ain't never hit a girl raw. But that's not the same thing, babe. Why ain't? No, because listen. She listen. sucked your no. Hold on, she sucked your dick and then she kissed you in the mouth. 
Well, but that, that ain't but, never but, happened. But, but, but you're not literally. Like, that, that's women, no, that's it's different because women have juices and things like, like women that. Like, women are so, coming, you're coming right out of a woman. Right. You're coated. So you, and they're putting it they're, in their mouth. All of the so women's juices are going to be on your penis mm-hmm. and it's going to go in their mouth. So they're so, going to know what they taste like. And most men do that intentionally because they see, say, right. if you're not going to put it in your mouth, the, I'm not exactly, going to put it in my mouth. Exactly. So women, let that be a lesson <laughs> to you. If you ain't willing to suck it right on her, then that means he ain't willing. Like, right. Hey, right. If That's you don't me. trust it. What make you expect me to Right. Uh-uh. Women. Oh, okay. So this is completely off the subject. I know we're doing game time, but is this true? Does this work? Somebody told me before you can do an earwax test on a girl. Have you guys ever heard of an earwax wax test? If you put earwax on your finger, like under your nail or whatever, and then you finger the girl, if she jumps, then that means she has something. Have you guys heard ever heard of that? That's exactly why I want to get married, because that having something shit is... It's scary, right? In Atlanta, it's my nigga, the scary. stories I've I heard... I heard that oh. it's called an earwax test, and I heard someone say... What does say, an earwax do? I don't know. It says I've it burns them or something. I don't know. I, mm. I've never done it. I'm no going to Google it when I get done, but I just thought mm. about that. <laughs> I ain't trying to find out the hard way. I rather I'm somebody gonna tell you, me. I'm going to tell you off the <laughs> record. J-Rock, you be out here earwaxing bitches. <laughs> I'm going to tell you off the record who told me that. But yeah. I might try that, though. You this person to. said that if a girl jumps like, yo, when they put the earwax, the earwax test, then they have something and you, <laughs> you should stay with, away. You follow Risky, right? She told me to do All this. right, come on, man. Okay. Like right. both. So, <laughs> so did you ask right. my question? What? In the mouth or on your face? Yeah, we want to know. Which one would I want? Yeah. Probably put it on my face. Ooh. Pretty, pretty Ms. little Miss Jackson, thing. if you're nasty. That's pretty little thing. <laughs> you can't get it in your pretty eyes. <laughs> Can we get any more uncomfortable right now? This is just a conversation for me and you. It's, oh, it's nah, like, it's a like, conversation geez. for me and you. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Next, would you rather question? I, go ahead, bro. On your face. <laughs> in the face. I'm still stuck right there. Just don't squirt it in my eye. It burns. Oh, man. Wow. Nasty. <laughs> Next question, y'all. Next know, question. Man, Next I question. Uh, would you rather <laughs> Would you rather get your worst ex you's ever ha- you've ever had pregnant? You're definitely not getting her pregnant. Or your ex pregnant. Or your ex pregnant. <laughs> no. Your worst ex you've worst ever ex had ever. or your best friend's worst ex he's ever had. There you go. <laughs> My my worst ex, because I know his worst ex, and I don't, listen, I do not have the stamina for the problems that comes along with my best friend's ex. I can't, I can't, my nigga, I can't, I can't, like, it's America. All right, go ahead. East of the Mississippi, like this <laughs> you you got crazy. another you got a Sheesh. question now. Go ahead, Rod, Rod. All right, so I get to make up a question on my own. Yes. Oh shit, that's or dope. I, oh, I was gonna say because I got one. If you got, go ahead. Um, would you rather? <clears throat> would you rather be forced to spend the rest of your life? <laughs> you gotta be all deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be Malcolm X in this <laughs> motherfucker. Would you rather? Have to spend the rest of your life on an island with the woman you're with, your wife, or would you rather spend the rest of your life here with your family and friends? Mm. With your family and friends at home in Atlanta, what you doing holiday? You giving you giving it all up for EJ on the island, or are you staying here in America with Mom, Dukes, Lissa, me, Steve O, Dylan? Huh? What? Hold on. Qua? What we doing, <laughs> yo? You here with us? You here with us in America? You can be DJ Holiday, do your records, all of the above, or That's you have to go a... to a, a, desin, a, a desolate island with EJ. And I'm married to her? Yeah, you married to her. You, you giving it all up for her, or you giving her you up for giving all of us? You giving us all up. Because keep in mind, you, you, shit too? you get all of us over here. Or you just get her. On Where the, the kids go? They here with us. They here with oh, Mama. They... I'll send him with the kids. Oh my kids, bro. <laughs> so you staying here with me? I'll send right? him with the kids. I'm going with my kids. You can't. He, he got yellow. one of us. Got to be there for the kids. Like yeah. I send him back with the kids. If yeah. I got to stay over there. When I started it's just out, I would, I, when I started out, I wasn't even thinking the kids, yo. I wasn't thinking the kids, yeah. And that's a nigga with no kids. Yeah. 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 
That, that made was, you. That made him think, though. Like, damn, I go. Okay, what EJ? about if we didn't have kids? Let's rephrase that question. So, you willing to give it all up to go to an <laughs> island with her, or you want to stay here with us? <laughs> I'm going on an island. I want some pussy. Yeah, uh, it's plenty of it's that. It's plenty here, of that here. Listen, here you said with my. We going to cheat after this. It's plenty I'm of that. Here, that no, that's stupid. That's a stupid <laughs> question. I don't want to. But he got to go home with me tonight, so Ugh. he know what question to answer, mm. how to answer oh it. God, First of the month, man. You didn't pay that. You didn't pay them. Come bills, on, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got the last one. Um, <clears throat> would you rather go to jail for twenty years for a crime that your mother? committed mm. or would you rather send your mom to jail for that crime but she only has to do five years that one fucked up y'all say it again i hope your mom right. listening to would you rather go to jail for 20 years for something that your mom did or would you rather send your mom to jail for the crime she committed but she only has to do five, five years. years. Wow. My mama to jail. Fuck that. She did it. <laughs> <laughs> you going to make your mama go to jail? You hear that, mama? Oh, nigga, I ain't trying to spend no days in the can. But nigga. you, you, you going to send your mom. mom. For five what do you mean? Send her. She did the shit. But you wouldn't do the bid for your you mom. You hear that, mama. There you dub? Have. Yeah. I'm not doing no goddamn dub for but my you gonna mama. Make your mom. But when you get out, you're still going to be younger than your mom right. is now. But she, no, I'm not doing a dub for nobody. <laughs> she need to live her best life uh, <laughs> right now. So you would send your mama to jail for five years? Yeah, I would. That's so messed up. I would go up, see her. <laughs> orange is Put money on the books. Sure books is straight, right? She good. She already did shit anyway. He going to be out here popping bottles. <laughs> Nigga, look, mama, if any of y'all motherfuckers do a dub for your mama, you goofy as hell. I'm not what? Doing. Wow. You would do a dub for your mama? I would not send my mama to jail. I Period. Would do it. I you would do a dub. I wouldn't send my mama to jail for a crime that I committed. Or you no, said a crime that she committed. You crazy? I don't know. That's a hard one because, like, I, she only got to do five years. With time served, she'll probably do three and a half. <laughs> exactly. Behaving, but she's doing two. Do 20 but she's older. Like, you're doing she's a, older. It, Listen. It, it, man, the only reason why she should go for five years. <laughs> nigga, five ain't shit. You can yeah. do five. Because if I ever get sentenced to 20, I'm done. Like I'm just nigga, like, I give me a, the electric If chair. I do a dub tomorrow, just, I'm telling you, leave me. It's over with. Do not even try to play that little goofy role like we gonna be you gonna hold me down. Nigga. EJ would I do would. that too, I guarantee. No, she wouldn't. I she would. would. No, you would not. I would. I'm you loyal. would not hold me down for no dub, EJ. Mm, I would. Are you a dub twenty years? A dub. You're lying. I would. You're lying. Yeah, yeah. She see captured for you. DM's gonna be no, on fire, I, nigga. Nigga, what? <laughs> DM's going crazy. Yeah, after that nigga. first three years, nigga, it's over. Three years, three weeks, nigga. Nah, I, I would I would give it maybe two. Judge, are you sure? Okay. We got you. Two. He ain't getting that win. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know you marry, so we get to have conjugal visits. Oh, yeah, that's bro. just once a month. Wow. <laughs> what so about we get to have what about them, the other though? So, you know, like. Nigga, whatever. That's goofy. Y'all <laughs> niggas is tripping. All right, man. All right. Cool. Let's get into this fan mail. <laughs> okay. So I have I have a question, but I also have a question that I would like to ask. Since we have J-Rock here, I would like to know this. <clears throat> Should a woman give back an engagement ring if she's no Ooh. longer getting married, and Ooh. does the man have the right to ask for it back if they're not getting married anymore? Yes, yes. Nigga, did you like, ask for it back? <laughs> yes, yeah. He did. And, and I was in the wrong, and I asked for it back because how can how how is it? I, I don't understand. Hold on, that. so so all right. so if you if you keep in mind that ring that he's putting on your finger is his token of whatever for you. He's showing you, hey, this yeah, is what I I'm giving I want you. Mine back too. So if we're not going to get married anymore, I'm giving you this ring because we're getting married. Why would right. you so if we're not getting anyway? married anymore, yeah. give me my. Why would you want that? Ring? Why would you want that? Because we gonna pawn it. Man, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> why should you come up off of our? Because y'all messed up. Now, I'm mess if you messed up, I you messed, still ask I, for I, your I, ring back. What if you didn't mess yeah, up? What I if he just decided? But I'm saying, what if he did? So he he has ring. the right to ask for his ring back, no, and he's the ring. reason why we're not getting married. My ring. If you a boss ass it's chick my, like you said he, you were earlier, y'all do understand that y'all wedding ring is that's his ring. I feel like the stuff that we're gonna have. I understand that, but I feel like the pain and the the humil like we're gonna have to 
Go through niggas. being humiliated, like, Maybe. oh my God, you were just engaged, now you're not engaged. Like that's humili that's humiliating. I rather pay for you a so- counselor. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for you a counselor. Yeah, rather- I feel like the stuff that we went through, we deserve to keep that ring. So that's it. You yeah. want to take the money from the we ring? We deserve and to pawn keep it? it. Why would you want that to keep? That's a substitute to, to for that. Keep yourself- like. Like, it would be like a F you. Like, I'm finna take this ring. And half of the time, women don't. I would probably throw it back at you, though, if you did something I to me. I would appreciate that. Throw mine at me. <laughs> throw my <laughs> shit right back. <laughs> throw my shit at me. Yo, Dylan, help me look for this shit on that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to break you. I'm going to give you a cut, nigga, when we find it. But yeah, throw mine yeah, back. Throw my me. shit back. In the face. <laughs> okay. Um, Ladies, give it back. Give it back. Fuck that. Okay, this is um the last question. Um, I'm in my last couple of weeks of pregnancy, and I'm so over it. I followed you when you were pregnant with Ryan, and I think you used to do some things to make her come quicker. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, okay, I think what she's asking, oh, let me finish it then. Please help me and tell me what you did because I am tired in all caps. So she's basically asking me if I can give her some tips or advice on what she should do Y'all to fans don't know make about the workout her regimen that risky baby got comes day. what like, lifting the fork to my mouth he, he, <laughs> crystals, risky, nigga. risky is working out on a daily basis two a day that's what she did no, she, a sack full, no, nigga, she's and shit. asking she's asking can i give her some tips on what she can do to make her baby come quicker because she got a couple more weeks to go and these were some things that i did I went to this restaurant in Cobb County. It was a, a, a Italian restaurant. And they say that if you order the eggplant parmesan, it will make your baby come. And if it doesn't, they'll give you a voucher to come back and have free food. And it or didn't something. work. That didn't work. Um, have lots and lots of lots and lots of sex. That also mm. did not work. Um, I was trying. I got on one of those, My what dog. is it called? A medicine ball. <laughs> I got dog. on the medicine ball and I bounced almost every single night. That did not work. And I walked. That did not work. So those are things. I went up steps. That did not work. And then I did dance all the time. I did, like, some of the hardest dancing I could ever do in my life. Nothing worked. But the reason why nothing worked for me is because my baby was way too big for my body. And I could not. She was too big. So (laughs) That's why I fuck with Ryan. She had plans for she got here. Like, she... (laughs) Ready, but yeah, she was too big, so she was pretty stubborn, and my body would not uh, go past seven centimeters, so I couldn't get her out vaginally. So, um, those are the things that they say work. They did not work for me, but you're welcome to try them. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I can't answer this question. I ain't nobody. <laughs> All right, that was it. That is it, and that is your answer. Good luck cool. on your pregnancy. <laughs> yes, and congratulations. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. J Rock, thank you again, My brother, uh, for brother. coming, brother. Really appreciate your uh, insight on being a single black young successful guy out here that has the no kids and has on. been married almost twice. It's Oh, All that on, stuff. I mean, you have a you have a long resume of things, man. I hope you get it together, and I hope everything works out for you. And you can be doing j- dinner with the J Rocks. Dinner with <laughs> <laughs> one day. Dinner with the little ones. Dinner with the little ones. Yeah, one go. day, let's sir. Go. That would be wonderful. Let's All get right. It. <laughs> but um, once again, yeah, thank y'all so much. Uh, you can thank follow you, us. Chef John. Thank you, Chef John, for the awesome plate that we all finished, I think. Right? Yes, Surf I'm, and I'm still staring at this dessert. That's the great, devil. Great, yeah, great plate. But follow, um, follow me at DJ Holiday. Follow me at Risky Business 23. And follow me at I Am Gerard. Follow Chef John at Chef John 27. And make sure you follow our Dinner with the Avery's page at Dinner with the Avery's. And if you have any questions, topics, suggestions, anything you want us to talk about or any anybody you want us to bring on the show, you got a chef you want to come on, whatever the case may be, send it to AskTheAvery's at gmail.com or you can DM us on at Dinner with the Avery's. Dinner with the Avery's. Deuce, deuce, we gone. Mm.